Rich in minerals and oils, algae has long served as a source of nutrients for hungry creatures. But today it's being eyed as a way to fuel our increasing appetite for, well, fuel. Algae can grow in a number of forms, with one of the most abundant being seaweed. Lars Brunner is an ecologist for Biomara. He sees the dense growth on the Scottish shores as a perfect candidate for cultivation. There's a huge quantity of seaweed on the Scottish coast. I think a very conservative estimate from back in the 1940s, a 50 estimated somewhere in the region of 12 million tonnes around the Scottish coast. So we don't advocate large-scale um, extraction of the wild product ourselves. What we are interested in is actually trying to perfect um, cultivating it, taking some wild specimens to use the seed, but then actually growing it on long line systems in a way you would use, for instance, to grow mussels. Learning how to best grow algae is part of the process Biomara is exploring, and that's where Dr. John Day is setting his sights. If you look at terrestrial agriculture, terrestrial agriculture is some tens of thousands of years old. Uh, uh, growing microalgae in vast amounts uh, is literally 30, 40, 50 years old. It depends on who you take as the first people uh, who did it. So there's a tremendous amount of, of process catch-up, a, a tremendous amount of uh, uh, strain development, if you like, the sort of thing that's been done in, in agriculture for generations. Uh, all of this work is being done now, and much of it must be condensed, uh, and we also need to know the fundamental process behind that. Before you can adapt or change or develop something, you have to know how it works. So how does this boil down to making fuel? It depends on the process. One way is to ferment the algae with yeast to make ethanol. The other is anaerobic digestion, where scientists combine bacteria to create methane. Finding the most efficient method is what these scientists are tasked with. If they are successful, it could usher in a whole new meaning when it comes to green fuels. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.